Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Yang here for this Connect with MOBAT video on diabetes self-management, education, and support. DSMES for short. Why is DSMES important? Let's go find out right now. Many of you realize that this is the situation we are currently in. Diabetes is epidemic. Treating or managing diabetes is very expensive. Target goals are not being met. More importantly, DSMES is not utilized per standards of care. And standards of care recommend that all people with diabetes should participate in diabetes self-management education and receive the support needed to facilitate the knowledge, decision-making, and skills necessary for everyday self-care. So it is important component of the quality care that is not being utilized. In the nutshell, the call to action is to change the current situation where DSMES is underutilized and you can be an essential part of this change. This is emphasizing that diabetes education is flexible and patient-centered. If you read across the line, DSMES is an ongoing process and it's not once and done, which is the premise for the four critical times for diabetes self-management, education and support referrals that I'll be speaking about in length in a bit. We emphasize shared goal setting and we don't tell people what to do. We just avoid the facts or avoid just the facts. And we coordinate with the healthcare team for optimizing the outcomes. On the right, we have AAD7 self-care behaviors model and this is the foundation of what we do in diabetes education. One, healthy eating. Two, being active. Three, monitoring. Four, taking med medications. Five, problem solving. Six, reducing risk. And lastly, seven, healthy coping. They are so important to what we do. So now, let's look at the benefits of DSMES. This is a table summarizing the outcomes of attending DSMES. So what patients can expect to gain from attending diabetes education sessions. Making sure people with diabetes un understand the multitude of benefits of DSMES. Providing diabetes education is more than just teaching someone how to use a glucometer and advising them when to, to use it. We listen, we are flexible and patient-centered. This is the evidence of delivering diabetes education, helping to reduce emergency room visits and hospital admissions, for example. Ultimately, that would lead to cost saving. In addition, there are no negative side effects from receiving DSMES, and most insurance plans and Medicare cover uh, the services. So this slide provides you with very important information on when the DSMES referrals should happen. So there are four critical times shown in the graphic that patients with diabetes should receive DSMES. First, top left, a diagnosis, which should be an automatic referral. Two, top right, annually or when not meeting treatment goals or targets. Three, bottom left, when complicating factors occur. Four, bottom right, when transitions in life and in care happen. These are the moments in time when extra help is needed to support the person with diabetes in terms of psychosocial as well as behaviors. And at the center, 
it highlights a the seven self care behaviors model. The next slide will show you a bigger view. So again, this is the middle aspect of the previous graphic. As educators and as clinicians, we help patients to achieve the seven components. And again, here would be healthy eating, being active, monitoring your sugar, taking medications, problem solving, reducing risk, as well as healthy coping. We may not do all these things at every visit, but we definitely would ask the patient the questions and focus on making sure the diabetes management plan is safe for the patient to continue. So that's it for now. Goodbye.